G'day, it's Carl Crawford here from the Sale Exchange going live. And today I'm sitting here on our A5 spinnaker, which is an ounce and a half nylon asymmetrical spinnaker. And I'm going to install a snuffer. And we seem to be seeing a lot of snuffers lately in the cruising world, but what I found interesting is we're going to start using it more in the racing world. And what that's all about is in the next couple of weeks we're going to start sailing two handed and we're going to actually fit snuffers to all our existing asymmetrical spinnakers. So today I'm going to run you through how we install it and I'm going to deploy the snuffer and then in another live later on, maybe tomorrow, I'm not really sure, we're going to end up putting the spinnaker up and show you how the snuffer works on the yacht itself. So just with the snuffers, mostly you know we talk about cruising and cruising is snuffers for shorthanded sailing and we've actually considered using them in the Senator Hobart yacht race. In fact last year we trialled it and we had an A7, which is a smaller spinnaker than this. This is about 100 square metres. The A7 is about 80 square metres, and our full-size spinnaker is about 130. And what we tried to do is, when you're sailing in really heavy air, and say it's 30 to 33 to 35 knots, and it's actually, you know you're going to crash, you know you're, you're eventually going to wipe out with the seaway being a lot more powerful and bigger than the rudder. Uh, we actually thought about using the snuffer and we, we've trialled it again since then where when it gets that wind you end up with one reef or two reefs in the main we're lucky we can reef the main running down which we've got slides and a bag on the boom which works really well but also when you get scared at night and you want to get rid of the spinnaker it's a lot of work to actually trip this thing off get it down below the hatch with water running through the boat get it downstairs, repack it and get ready to reset. Now, a lot of the times at night when you're sailing there's squalls or there's pressure and clouds and you can't see them because it's dark. So what it allows you to do is just snuff the sail, leave it up, keep it against the spreaders and the rig, let the puff go through for a while and then you can redeploy the spinnaker without all the work and it saves time. So it's a bit of a racing feature so we're going to try that a bit more with the snuffer. So I'm going to walk up the top here. I'm going to we're just going to connect the snuffer to the shackle, which I've just done, to make sure it works. And uh, we're going to snuff the sail and show you how that works. And we've got the snuffers on our website. They're available in every metre length. Uh, we've sold quite a few recently. And uh, we're going to put them together with our asymmetrical spinnakers and symmetrical spinnakers on our website as a package. So I'm just going to walk up the top of the sail up here at Glorious Little Harbour. What we've done here, we've actually, we've actually shackled the sail on and got it ready and I've put some tape around the shackle pin but I've used a, a spanner to tighten the shackle so it's not going to come off. And, and how this works is there's a webbing strap that comes from the top, that's the same webbing strap that I've tied to this crane here. So that's the strap that takes all the load. Now this is made of spinnaker fabric, it's like two and a half ounce nylon fabric. And there's a rope that runs the entire length down to the deck, goes up through this pulley and back down again. So when on the downstroke, this two string through and it pulls it and the spinnaker snuffs up through this uh, fiberglass hoop. So how that works is I'm going to walk down the end here and I'm going to snuff the spinnaker. So just stand by while I get ready. So that's how the snuffer works on the spinnaker. And this is Carl Cork from the Sale Exchange. Thank you very much.